Well, the first letter is A. A is for airplane. So we are going to do that airplane pose. To do an airplane pose, you have to balance. So you're going to find some space. Try to stand on one foot. Put your arms out like an airplane and kick your leg back to the side. You need to hold on to a chair to be safe. You can. I'm going to turn sideways and do it with the other leg. Practice both legs flying like an airplane, even if you just barely pick up that foot. You see how I have it down? And I lean, and I just pick it up a little bit. Like that. Switch legs. And I just pick it up a little bit when I get my balance. Or I could do this, hold on to my chair, and then pick my leg up and balance like an airplane. Good job. The more we practice, the better we get. The second one is the letter B for bicycle. To do a bicycle, we get to lay down on the floor. Oh, lucky for us. Lay on your back, and you move your legs like a bicycle in the air. We can go forward, we can go backwards. Keep them up high in the air. Good job. I wonder what we have next for letter C. Oh, we get to do cat. Cat is right there for C, cat. C, all right. On our hands and knees. A little bit apart. I'm not close together like this. What we're gonna do is round our back up like a cat and bring it back down flat. Round it up. Trust out that back and back. One more time. Round it up like a cat. Good job. What comes after C? D. D like a dog. So we're going to do downward facing dog. We start in the same position as we were in a cat. You're going to be on your hands and on your knees. Tuck your feet down and then push your butt up into the air. Make sort of an upside down V. That's downward dog. And then we can come back down again. Then we try it again. So we tuck those feet, we push up the best you can. If you can't get your knees straight, that's okay. Do it like this, as straight as you can, and come back down one more time. Ready? Push, then come back down. Good job. Next, after D, comes the letter E. E, like that. What do we have for an E? We have elephant. E is for elephant. That's this one. For elephant, we're going to stand, put our hands together like a trunk, and swing our trunk back and forth. Swing that trunk, and you can come up a little bit. Swing back and forth. You want to make it a little bit harder. Put your feet together, because then you have to balance while you swing. Swing your trunks. Good job. After E comes F. And F for us today is for flower. F is for flower. To do the flower pose, we're going to sit on the floor, put our feet together, and then our arms go underneath and grab down by our ankles. And that's our flower pose. Sitting up nice and tall. Pull those feet in as close as you can. You can see that mine don't go all the way flat to the floor because I keep working on my stretches. That's flower. After F comes G. G. It looks like this. G. All right. G is for gorilla. Ooh, 
Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Where's my gorilla? Gorilla. It's very close to our elephant, but we can have our hands apart. Bend over as close to the floor as we can get. I can't quite get it. And then we're gonna go, oh, swing those arms. Gorillas walk on their hands a lot, don't they? I can't quite reach. There's gorilla. After G comes H. H is like this. And what do we have for H? We have this one over here, half moon. Half moon pose is one where we stand up, we put our feet together, arms come up over your head, bring your hands together, and then you dip your body to the side, try to curve your body, and then back up to the middle, and tip to the other side. Back up to the middle. You could do it standing again, or you can do this one on your knees too. And we dip to the side. It's a good way to stretch out the side of that body. And up, and stretch to the other side. Good job. That's half moon. Walking on your knees is good exercise too. After H comes I. That's the sign for the letter I. Ooh, this is a tough one. I is for ice skate. Right up here, ice skate. So this one you might need a chair to hold on to. That's okay. We're gonna try to do this. You try to grab your back leg and glide like an ice skater. If you can't do it that way, hold on to your chair and just try to pick your foot up and hold on to it. That's okay too. And then if you're getting brave, you can lift your hand off, put it back down if you need to. Try to balance. All right, I'm gonna switch legs. Switch my hands, hold my foot, and then try to balance if I can. Good job. Even working up towards 10 seconds on one foot is really good balance. After I, I bet you know what comes next. It's J. J is for Jackrabbit. Right there in the middle of the page. And what we're going to do for Jackrabbit is squat down as low as we can go. Put our hands down. And then we're gonna hop and come back down. Two more times. Hop. One more time. Hop. There's J for Jackrabbit. After J comes K. K looks like this. That's how we sign K. K is for kite. Kite. This one's a fun one. We're gonna fly like a kite. So we get to stand up again. Put your arms out wide like a kite. And fly like a kite. Back and forth. This way and turn that way. Ooh, now I'm flying backwards. Flying like a kite in the breeze. Good job. The next letter we have is L. And L is for lion. There it is. Lion pose. Right there. We're going to roar like a lion. This is on those knees like I showed you. Nice and tall and roar like a lion. Just going to hold this nice strong position. Lions are big and strong. Roar. Lion pose. A few more seconds here. It really makes you use those muscles in your legs. You can see that my feet just go flat on the floor behind me. If I can't do it that way, I can do it this way. I'm trying to be nice and tall. I'm not sitting back here. Up tall. The next letter is M for monkey. Monkey. Where is it? Monkey. We're going to swing those arms 
Swing those arms like a monkey. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. It's a good way to stretch those muscles or we can squat a little bit. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. My son's monkey wants to join. All right, after M comes N. N is for night. For night, we get to lay down on our backs. All the way flat and give yourself a hug. This one's an easy one. Just get to lay and rest. Our body nice and flat. N. Next comes O. O is for octopus. Octopus. We're gonna sit crisscross, crisscross applesauce, and you're gonna move your tentacles like an octopus in the water. An octopus has eight tentacles. I only have two. The next letter is P. P is for pig. For pig, we get to lie down on our backs again, and this time we bring our hands and our feet together and hold it there. Keep your tummy nice and tight. Stretch those legs a little bit. P was for pig. Next comes Q. Q is for Queen. So we're going to sit on our throne. Stand up, feet apart, arms up, and we squat down like we're on a throne. And hold it and stand. And then we squat down again. And stand. One more time. Squat down on our throne. Good. Next comes R. R is for rock. So we're gonna go back to that cat position that we did earlier. And then we just get to sit back on our feet. Stretch our hands out. R. It's gonna come up again and shift back down. R. Okie dokie. We're gonna do a little bit different since we don't have a partner. S is for ship. So we're gonna do a little bit modified from that pose. We're gonna do the boat pose, the ship pose. We're gonna sit like this and then you try to balance with your legs up. Then if you can lift your arms up, make yourself into a boat and you rock. 